Hi, I'm Vivia Gugnani. I often travel from one time zone to the other, and I find the best way to unwind is a classic cocktail. I'm here at Clock Bar in San Francisco, California, so let's go behind the burner and meet the bartender. I'm here with bartender Morgan Schick. Morgan, make me a cocktail that's gonna make me come back again and again. All right, we're gonna make an old classic, the Corpse Survivor number two. Uh, this is from the Savoy Hotel cocktail book. First thing we're gonna do is ice our glass. Now around the bar we keep them in coolers, but as many things as you can have cold, the better. Yeah, so good tip before you make your cocktail, chill the glass. Chill everything. You can chill your shaker, you can chill your uh, mixing tin, chill your glass, you can even chill the liquor. It's The colder it is, the better. Uh, the second tip is you're gonna measure everything. Now this is an equal part strength. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do three quarters of each. Uh, the actual amount doesn't matter that much except that know that bigger is not better. Okay. And it's the are, ratio uh, that matters. That's so right. you just want equal parts. Mm -hmm. And uh, frankly, smaller cocktails are usually better. They're meant to be drank fast. If they're too big, they warm up too much. So if you give me a smaller cocktail, then I'm coming back and back again that's anyway. That's right, so. you just drink three. <laughs> so we're gonna do three quarters each of gin. I'm using a Plymouth gin. Cointreau. You can use any kind of orange liqueur. Cointreau's the classic for this. I'm going to use Lillet, which is a aperitif. sweetened wine aperitif. I was just going to say, I haven't had Lillet in a while. More of a European thing. It is. <laughs> It was, used to be very common in cocktails. And then we're gonna use lemon juice. Now, whenever possible, you wanna fresh squeeze everything. So if you wanna have a great cocktail, good tip, use fresh juice. Fresh juice and make sure to measure it even if you're squeezing it. Because half of a lemon doesn't always give you the same amount of juice. Now, we're gonna shake it. The last ingredient in this drink is a wash of absinthe. Ooh. Now you can do that by pouring a little in the glass and whirling it around. Or you can get one of these. They're little pump action spray bottles. It's so like you hairspray can... except it's absinthe. That's right. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that. Ooh. And then we're gonna double strain it through a tea strainer. And that takes out any little bits of pulp or From any little bits juice. of ice. Yeah. And finally, your garnish of choice? A brandied cherry. Just one? Just one. <laughs> Don't get stingy on me. And here we go. Wow, this is a killer cocktail. So you get a little bitterness from the lille. You get the botanicals of the gin. You get a little sweetness. You get that tart edge from the uh, from the lemon. I get a little bit uh, of citrus flavor mm -hmm. that's really coming out at me. And then the absinthe is mostly just in the nose. You just you just smell, smell a little it. of that anise as you're drinking. And you get it's the anise. That's what it is, and a little bit of kind of heat and kick in the finish. Well, yeah, you gotta know you're drinking. We definitely know we're drinking. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.